there are certain things that you can see, you know, listen, there's, there's people who had more experience than others. So were some, and they all came from different backgrounds. They've all had different levels of experience. What I was looking for was someone who was really passionate because you can train somebody to do pretty much anything, but what you can't train and what you can't give is passion and curiosity. I, I can't give that to anyone. So we were really looking for people who were like excited, wanted it, were passionate and really like into it. And, we're in, and when you're into something, you have a tendency to work hard. And that's all I really care about. And I think, uh, you know, I started off, I had a wonky taste level. My old boss, Scott Formby, like really helped shape my taste. Like it can be shifted. And so, you know, curiosity and passion were like the best, most important things. Just so you know, the, the first, well, we should, we filmed a pilot and then we came back and augmented the show. My first day filming, I had a total meltdown. <laughs> the, the network was on site and I literally was in the hallway like, I don't know what I'm doing. How did this happen? I don't know. You know, it was, you know, what you don't understand. And like, I, I didn't understand was that we were trying to meld documentary and reality. And, but we wanted, it's, there's no pathway to that. We had two teams. We had a doc team and a reality team. We were trying to get them to work well together. And with all of the best intentions, if we, we fell apart, it was just, it just didn't, we were struggling. And so what happened was we ended up with a more reality-based team, but that left it up to me to, really maintain a sense of integrity and be like, well, I would never do that. No, can, can you do that? You know, there was a, a number of times where it was like, well, why don't we just show you this, this, and this? I'm like, yeah, but I would never do it that way. I want it to be real. I want, I don't want to give people a false sense of how it works. It was, it was painstaking. However, I'm really proud and I feel like it does feel different than most reality shows out there. God, no. I mean, I think, you know, I remember really early on one of the network executives saying to me, are you ready for this? And I, I don't think I really, um, you, you can't know until you're in it. It's a little bit like having a kid. It's like, you, you kind of can't foresee what's coming down the pike, who they're going to be. You just, I didn't know what I was getting myself into. There were some really, really hard moments. I mean, there were tears and I'm not one to cry in general, crying on national television, like, oh, but you know, I think at the same time, I felt like I enjoy when people like share. I'm probably a little bit of an overshare or so I've been told. So I enjoy when people really are giving and generous and sharing because I do think it helps people, you know, connect. And so I kind of let go at one point and was like, fine, whatever, you know, F it. I'll, I'm just gonna let it happen. I'm gonna just say it was a shit show, like literally. I mean, the reason being, you know, we'd never made a TV show before. And Sarah and I were like, oh, well, we know how to get dressed. We can do it. But what we didn't really understand was, you know, there were some days we had four outfit changes and then we had to go back to a, a scene from something else. And so we had to slide, slide that in. And, you know, we didn't have anyone prepping for us. We had no one doing wardrobe. So we were doing it all ourselves out of my apartment. So Sarah was coming over with bags of clothes in the morning and Kyle was coming over with bags of clothes. And, and then we had to change scenes. So Kyle was going to my closet and Sarah's in my closet and I'm wearing Sarah's things. And I mean, it was, you know, the, we, I look back on it. We didn't until the very end, we sort of started to like think about what we were going to do. It, it was really, it happened all so quickly. We just had no prep to really understand how we needed to manage it. If we get a season two, I will be more buttoned up. <laughs> no pun intended. I mean, I'm deeply obsessed I mean, I mean, Kate Blanchett always, I think Lupita Nyong'o is always does a beautiful job. I love how she wears color and just drama. Um, I mean, you know, I've always loved Julianne Moore. I think she's one of those women who just has completely managed to, to uh, she always looks impeccable and that smile, that big, beautiful smile, I absolutely love. Um, you know, who's, I think has been looking really great. I saw him on the, on the red carpet at the SAG Awards is um, John Lithgow and, and, Brad Pitt is like pulling it out, like back in the sap, like really looking great. I was like, mm, dude, okay. Not that he wasn't, but I feel like, I don't know. Um, I mean, I could go on and on. I have so many, Do we, we could talk about this all night long. <laughs>